Ciao tutti da can. <laughs> hey everyone, my name's Jenna and I am a filmmaker living currently in Venice, Italy. I have a production company with a number of projects and so I am at the Cannes Film Festival going to the marketplace to try and raise some funds for those projects and to sell one that is complete. I'm here with Giampaolo Manca, who is the protagonist of the documentary that I'm currently working on called A Portrait of Redemption in Five Acts. Mi chiamo Giampaolo Manca. La mia è stata una vita maledetta, una vita da ribelle. That's all I can show for now, but I promise there will be a teaser coming soon. On our way to meet another collaborator named Sergio, and we're just gonna chat about a collaboration that we're doing, and also some of his takeaways from the festival. All right, everyone, this is Sergio, powerhouse producer. Well, powerhouse, I don't know if you, I would say it's powerhouse, you know. I make beautiful films. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm now done in Cannes for this year. Cannes is exhausting, lots of talking, lots of walking, um, and lots of talking more and more walking, 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 and standing up. Um, and then you try and look for opportunities to further your projects. Oops, bird shit on my hat. Right in the middle of interviewing Sergio. <laughs> awesome. Yana got the uh, <laughs> bird shit on her hat. Oh man. I think it's good luck in Italy, so I feel like that's okay. Let's hope now after Khan that things go well. Yeah. What kind of projects are you working on? I'm I'm working on some beautiful films. Um, I have three of them that would like some sort of deal that are finished. Uh, the documentary that Jana and I are making, you know, the beautiful Povelia Island documentary. Which we're co-directing and co-producing. A little Coming scary. Soon. Yes, a little <laughs> scary. Coming soon. Okay, well, we'll see. We have to finish it first. He did save my hat, <laughs> but it's too easy to wear it. <laughs> he even gets recognized on the streets of Cannes. What are your takeaways from Cannes? The takeaway is that things need to change in the industry. Um, producers are getting screwed. Like, that's just the way the system works. So the state system needs to change. And then I, I think the takeaway is that we're going to go from uh, developing film projects to developing fi business plans for film projects. So we're going to go from our, our, uh, the scope of our work is going to increase from concept to market to concept to exhibitor and audience directly. And do you have any ideas for any like young producers out there who are just kind of getting started? Yes, sir. Um, well, for, first, first look for uh, don't produce for the sake of producing. Look for the project that you think has a USP, you know, a unique selling proposition, and that's something that you can create as a business holistically. Okay. Where you can release the film uh, probably by yourself, or you have control over the film and how it gets distributed. Any other things you'd like to add? Just to stay strong, you know? Stay strong and continue to make beautiful work. We did get our first offer, and so I do think the bird shit on my hat was super good luck. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.